everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today is Friday, so we have another debt-free Friday. If you're new here, my name is Amy and I'm currently paying off six figures worth of student loan debt. Every single Friday, I go over our payments for the week as well as any side hustle income that we earned that week that went towards our debt payments. So like I said, today is March 5th, so it's the first debt-free Friday in March, so that's super exciting. So this week we started at 55,575, which was at 58.03% paid off. This week we were able to make a payment of $900, which leaves our ending balance at 54,675, which is at 58.71% paid. So we did not get another percent this month. Um, however, we did reach under 55,000, which is really cool. Um, I really enjoy getting to those $5,000 increment marks. It's super exciting. So this week we did only have two sources of side hustle income as well. So the first was 1360 from Surveys on the Go. I've talked about this app a lot. If you're new here, um, it's the app is called Surveys on the Go on iOS. I am not sure if it's on Android. If anyone has an Android and uses Surveys on the Go, let me know in the comments. Um, I'm not sure if they have it, but it's a really cool app. It basically offers you the opportunity to do surveys and get paid out through PayPal. Um, it does typically take me a little while to get enough to cash out. You have to have $10 or more to cash out. And I do not qualify for a lot of the surveys, but even when you don't qualify, you do get 10 cents. So it's definitely, in my opinion, worth the time. So actually for this one, the 1360, I had a $12 survey um, that hit this week. So that was why we were able to get cashed out at 1360. So it was a $12 survey. Um, I had to go to Sam's Club and take pictures of the aisle. And that was it. It literally took me like maybe five minutes besides driving, but I live right by where our Sam's Club is. So I would consider that a win. Like it was maybe like 15 minutes total, including drive time, because I did it on the way to run some errands. So, you know, 12 bucks for 15 minutes was definitely worth my time. So that was our first side hustle income this week, as well as 196 from Etsy. So if you're new here, again, I do link my Etsy shop in the description box if you're curious. Um, I do sell some printables, which I share here. And also if you've watched any of my other videos, I do have two different bundles. I have a debt repayment bundle and a monthly budget bundle. My monthly budget bundle has my monthly budget sheet as well as a reconciliation sheet. And then my debt free has this sheet and a few more as well. So if you're curious, link that in the, my bio below. That is actually all the side hustle income that we had this week. Um, I had initially wanted to... Um, go out and do Instacart this week. However, my husband is super busy with work this week, so that just did not happen, which is okay. Our goal for March is $200 in side hustle income. We do have a goal in 2021 to earn $2,500 in extra side hustle income. Um, I'm actually not sure where we're at right now. I think we did 288 in January and 157 in February. So we're right around like 445 for right now, um, which is pretty good. Um, so in March, our goal is $200. I think we'll be able to meet that goal as long as I can go out to do Instacart maybe one or two times. Um, that is definitely my biggest income for side hustles right now is Instacart. I typically make anywhere between 50 to $100 a day, depending on how long I'm able to go out. So I'm hoping that we can at least do that one or two times. Um, another thing this month that will be a little bit different is that we are going on a staycation with some of my family members. Um, we One of my goals for 2021 was to go on a family vacation. Obviously with COVID, um, it was not uh, safe to go like on a huge trip somewhere or anything like that. So we're just doing a staycation. We're renting an Airbnb with my sister and we're just going to hang out and have some family time. And that is, I think we're planning to leave on the 23rd. So in about um, two and a half weeks. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, that money will all be coming out of our vacation sinking fund. So you probably will not see that coming out of my budget at all, but 
yeah, that will be a little bit different. That will probably also impact our side hustle income a little bit because that week I will not be doing any work. I will be taking vacation at my full-time job and I will not be doing any side hustles um, other than like possibly if I make a sale on Etsy or surveys or something like that, that's a little bit more passive. But so that might have a little bit of an impact this month, just so you guys know. But otherwise, looking forward to this month, I'm hoping we can meet this $200 goal. Um, we did take a little bit of a step back last month if you were around back then. Um, we only made like $157 last month in side hustle income, which was definitely on the low end for us. So I'm looking forward to getting back into it. I definitely feel refreshed and looking forward to starting March and making hopefully some really good debt repayments. So then going to our debt free tracker. So we do have about one and a third to fill in this week for our payment of March on March 5th of $900. So I really need to get some like nicer coloring utensils because I'm kind of just using like whatever I find in my desk, <laughs> but um, yellow it is today. So here is where we are at on our chart. Um, I did restart this as of January 1st. So this is just the progress we've made in 2021 so far. Very excited about our progress. I'm super excited that we have still been able to maintain our larger payments. Um, I do anticipate, I know I, I talk about this in like every video, but probably April, May, June, we will be taking a little bit of a step back to finish our car savings. So one of our other goals in 2021 is to buy a new, well, new to us, not new, <laughs> not definitely not new, um, to buy an SUV or a van uh, used and replace my vehicle, which is a Honda Civic. So my Honda Civic I have had for I think nine years now. I bought it brand new back in 2012. Um, so she's definitely had a long life and we definitely need to get a bigger vehicle for our family. So looking forward to that goal. Um, our goal is $15,000. We have about 9,500 right now. So we're pretty close to having that funded. Um, not exactly sure what that's going to look like exactly, but I would like to probably purchase that vehicle in the next um, like six months, probably definitely before the end of the year. And I'd also like to get it before we get snow again, um, in the end of 2021. So I will definitely try to keep you guys updated on that goal as well. But just so you know, in April, May, June timeframe, we might be slowing down our debt repayment a little bit just to push that goal forward. So anyways, that is all I have for you guys this week. Super excited to start March and let me know what some of your March goals are below. I just posted on Instagram what our March goals are and I'm very, very excited to be starting a new month. So definitely leave a comment below and let me know what your goals are this month and if you made a debt payment this week. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you have not yet, please do subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. I am so close to a thousand subscribers, which is incredible. I seriously appreciate you guys watching my content so much and I would absolutely love to get monetized um, by your end if at all possible. Um, I am a little bit far away from my watch hour goal. So even though I am close to a thousand subscribers, it'll be a little while before I'm able to get monetized. But I would absolutely love to get monetized by year end. So if you enjoy my content, please give this a thumbs up, subscribe. It really helps get my videos out to other people and I really appreciate it. And I will talk to you guys soon in another video. Bye guys.